I have a cognitive disorder called ADHD, which is caused by abnormally low levels of dopamine in my brain. These low levels of dopamine cause my brain to constantly seek out new forms of stimulation, sometimes in the middle of a conversation. It can be treated with uh, prescription drugs like Ritalin. It's caused a lot of social problems for me throughout my life. It's caused me to make a lot of mistakes that I uh, have to live with. Um, it also causes me to masturbate in a very strange way. I have um, usually have to have porn on the television, porn on the laptop, porn on the phone, and uh, somebody sitting next to me giving me a hand job because this hand is for smoking. People love when I do that. There's ADHD doubters out there. And I find them to be annoying. Two of them are Jimmy Dore and Kurt Metzger, who apparently, from what I could tell, have had a spiritual awakening in regard to psychiatry. Um... These, uh, this spiritual awakening, I suppose, is best, best extolled by Tom Cruise in a 2005 interview he did with Matt Lauer, which has been making the rounds a lot lately, even though it's pretty, pretty famous. I think that most people are familiar with this interview. So when I, Tom Cruise is saying there's a way to treat people who have the, the, the depression and other problems without using these psychotropic drugs. Jimmy... It's and the treatment that Tom Cruise is getting at, without actually saying it out loud in the interview, that treatment is a, the only treatment that he believes in, is a small metal box. Um, it has an electrical current in it, and uh, it has two cans, and you hold the cans, and it's got a needle. And this needle detects suppressed memories. Now, they're not your memories. They're the memories of the ghost of an alien that has been that is hiding inside of your body. And these memories have been implanted into the alien by another alien, another more powerful alien, whose name I won't mention. This box it costs about $20 to make and uh, retails for about $5,000. But it's the only cure for things like, the only real cure for things like depression, um, ADHD, um, back problems, cancer, communism. Spoiler alert, he was right, but we're going to, I'm going to, because there's a new study out. Well, go ahead, Kurt, what? You, okay, when this first came out, because I remember, I remember on Conan, they made fun, they had like Mayor McCheese, and he was going, you're being McGlib, and like, and I remember hearing this played a lot. The part that stuck out to me that I don't remember from hearing hundreds of times was him mentioning Adderall and, and Ritalin, Ritalin, which are children's, I mean, are speed. It's funny, when that clip went around, you know, they kept Adderall and Ritalin's name right out of it. Yeah. No, they didn't. I remember that interview when it came out. It was all over the news. In fact, you can get it uh, on YouTube. It's been up for the last eight years, and Tom Cruise clearly calls Ritalin a street drug. I remember back then, before I was even diagnosed, that uh, that was bullshit. Ritalin is a highly regulated prescription drug that you receive after about four hours of diagnostic testing to determine whether or not you have ADHD a condition, a cognitive disorder that can be detected with a CAT scan. Now, I suppose you can buy it from somebody, like in a car, and that car could be parked on the street, and the entire time you're buying it, uh, the person selling it to you could be uh, pitching jokes to you in the middle of a drug deal in broad daylight. I suppose you could sell Vicodin that way. But when you have a broken arm or your wisdom teeth removed, 
You don't just walk it off because Tom Cruise says so. You take your prescription drugs as prescribed by a physician. Yes. <laughs> and they only focused on the part he said after that. And yes. I never noticed that until just now. And he was right. He's right about this. Let's keep going. And yes, maybe they've gone too far in certain areas. Maybe there are too many kids on Ritalin. Maybe electric shock too many is... Too kids on Ritalin. That... I'm just saying. But but aren't there yeah. examples where... It... Maybe there's too many kids on Ritalin. He just said, hey maybe, the, hey, maybe there's too many kids on Ritalin. And Tom Cruise stops him. Too many kids on Ritalin. Like, do you hear what you're saying? Ritalin is yeah. a street drug. Tom Cruise sounded crazy back then. <laughs> and, and everyone... Yeah, I mean, remember... Yeah, he sounded crazy back then. What is a street drug? That interview when Tom Cruise looked like the lunatic? Who would have thought Tom Cruise would be back on top as an A-list? Yeah, who would have thought that Tom Cruise would be back on top after doing a sequel to Top Gun, one of the 10 biggest box office movies of the 1980s? Who would have thought, except for the people who put up $170 million to make the movie? And where's this data that there's too many kids on Ritalin? I tried to look that up. I can't find it. What does that even mean? I don't like these ADHD deniers, man. I really don't. First of all, they're jealous. Because we're creative. And I'm serious about this. It sounds like a brag, but it's a humble brag. We have a tendency. We have a talent for problem solving and uh, creative enterprises. And somebody like Jimmy Dore, he's a little insecure about that because he doesn't have a creative bone in his body. I mean, except for Metzger's dick. Here's the other thing. We know a simple truth about life. Um, And this is this. I'm going to share this with you. Not a lot of people know this. Green means go. When the light turns green, stop chatting on the phone and hit the accelerator pedal and get out of my way because I have ADHD which means I am in constant I have a constant awareness that life is too slow we gotta pick up the pace here people cashier is not a proper person to have a long conversation with about your grandma's bunions okay And frankly, I know a lot of you guys might be insulted if I seem distracted in the middle of a conversation, but maybe, maybe, maybe you're insulting the world a little bit by being, uh, boring? I don't know. It's just a thought. War propagandist. (laughs) And Matt Lauer would have been banished to Cuomo Island. Who would have thought? (laughs) A bald disgrace. A bald disgrace, Metzger says, as he sits there being bald for no reason. All right, here, there's more to this. Works. You, you don't even, you're glib. You don't even know what Ritalin is. If you start talking about chemical imbalance, you have to evaluate and read the research papers on how they came up with these the theories. Research Matt. papers. Okay, that's what I've done. So the, he keeps bringing up a chemical imbalance. He goes, you have to read the research papers to know what they're... He's he's make, he's committing a mortal sin. He's doing his own research. By doing his own research, Jimmy means he read Dianetics. Hey Jimmy, maybe Tom Cruise will autograph your copy. Yeah. He's actually reading. You're supposed to be glib. And you're you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be glib and just repeat what Big Pharma says. Hey, but, maybe speed's bad for kids, but... <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what Matt Lowe was saying. Hey, maybe street... Maybe. Fake laugh. Metzger's fake laugh. Here's how I know it's a fake laugh. I've seen a lot of interviews with Metzger. Okay. I'm a big fan of his comedy album, White Precious. I recommend it. However, one thing I've noticed in these interviews is he's awfully animated... He can't stop moving. He can't stop interrupting people. He can't stop interrupting himself. And besides the ability to make a comedy album like White Precious, another thing that people with ADHD all have in common is that uh, we piss people off. We burn bridges. We say things impulsively that people 
take way too personally. People don't like, people without ADHD dislike people with ADHD. They can't stand the idea that we exist. And they try to make us pay for it as often as possible. As often as possible. And I can't help but wonder what would have happened to Metzger if he had been diagnosed years ago and he had been prescribed something like Ritalin. Would he be forced to play second banana to a hack, an untalented, craven hack like Jimmy Dore? 